blessings of Mara upon you. Here you are. Now, remember, people in Skyrim respond to deeds. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing a special Skyrim video about marriage. A while back I did a video about marrying Yazold so you could get a free house. Well, in this case, it's about marrying Camilla Valerius. And why would you marry her over Yazolda? No reason. They're both pretty women, and they both look really good when you follow them from behind. But I digress. Let's get on with this whole marriage thing. You first meet Camilla and her brother if you go to the Riverwood Trader after the beginning mission, and in which case they will be arguing. Has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Well, what are you going to do then, huh? Let's hear it. We are done talking about this. Oh, <clears throat> customer. Sorry, you had to hear that. Well, I don't know what you over. Uh, yeah, we, we did have a bit of a, a break in. We, we still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. An ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. You could? I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. It's yours if you bring my claw back. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Falls Barrow, so northeast plan, of town. Logan? Yes. The sooner you find the claw. Now, if you enter the Riverwood Trader immediately after the beginning mission. You can do some trading with Lucas and find out about the claw. Now, don't go to Breakfall Barrows immediately. Go over to the Yarrow and get the Dragonstone mission from him because ultimately you can double up and get two missions done fairly quickly. After trading with Lucas, I asked Camilla to show me the way to Bleak Falls. Barrel. Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Well, no, I. Bleak Falls Barrel the is just outside Fine. of town. I can but show only you. to the edge of town. to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls Barrow. You can see it from here though, the mountain just over the buildings. Now Camilla will lead you to the edge of town and she almost seems a little playful and flirtatious. And she does look good walking from behind. So anyway, I'm going to fast forward through the little bit of conversation and get to where she tells you where to go. This is the bridge out of town. The path up the mountain to the northwest leads to Bleak Falls Barrow. I guess I should get back to my brother. He'll throw a fit if I take too long. <laughs> Such a child. After you cross the bridge, you want to double back and talk to the elf by the uh, guys who cut the wood, the mill, and kind of, you run by Camilla there, and you go talk to the elf by the mill, and you'll find some information out, and you want to eliminate the elf as a potential rival for your affections. You're not going to eliminate the other guy, but you want to get rid of the elf first. Did I see you talking to Sven? Maybe not. He's a bard, so he says. 
Occasionally, he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. I've been thinking. Maybe Camilla needs a little help seeing Sven for what he is. Could you... Could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Now you can eliminate him or Sven by giving the letter to Camilla or telling her about it, which is what I'm going to do. Mara Black, you're strapping. You what? What are you talking about? Why, that jealous idiot. Thought he could just manipulate me into never seeing Sven again? Thank you for telling me the truth. You should speak to Sven. I'm sure he'll want to thank you, too, for defending his name. Good luck. Lucan and I will be waiting for you back in the shop. Now you can go talk to Sven. You've just eliminated a rival for your affections. But I'll tell you right now, you're going to need to kill Sven off at some point. What do you Are want? Not to. Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. Did you hear me? Now that's what I like to hear. Good work. I think you deserve some gold from my tips at the inn. Now you've eliminated one rival for Camilla's affections. You gotta go to Riften and talk to the priest Maramal. I'll be at the market. Blessings of Mara upon you. Wonderful. Where to begin? Mara is the goddess of love. The temple spreads her gifts by tending to the sick, the poor, and the lost. We also perform wedding ceremonies for all the loving couples in Skyrim. Yes, if you were ready, of course. Are you familiar with how marriage works in Skyrim? Typically, love in Skyrim is as earnest as the people who live here. Life is hard and short. So there's little room for long courtship. A person who is looking for a spouse simply wears an amulet of Mara about the neck, showing they are available. When another person shows interest and the two agree to be together, one of them comes to the temple and we arrange a ceremony. 200 gold for an amulet, but I end up spending it in the next clip. Blessings of Mara upon you. Here you are. Now, remember, people in Skyrim respond to deeds. You'll find more people interested in your love if you help them. Good luck. Mara bless you. After spending the money, I have the amulet. Now I'm going to go to Riverwood and promote, propose to Camilla. It means so much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. Thank you. Well, yes. Why wouldn't I be? Are you interested in me? It's settled then. Brief as life can be in Skyrim, at least we'll have each other. And now to go set up the wedding with Mara Mall. And he tells us not to be late. And I kind of screwed things up a little bit on timing here, so I will have to wait around a little bit. Blessings of Mara upon you. You wish to be married? It's good to see love blossoming even during these difficult times. Your wedding will be held tomorrow, from dawn until dusk. Don't be late. You don't want to miss your own wedding. May you return to her benevolence and safety. Now, because I made the arrangements at midnight, the wedding ceremony is not going to be until another day or so 
forward. And this is where I screw up. I go to the bee and barb to sleep. I don't get the warning that I'm missing my wedding or could miss my wedding. And what happens is I have to wait in the temple for the wedding. Now, I've mentioned in the past in this video that Sven is a rival for your affections. He really is. And Car Camilla will cheat on you with Sven or the elf. And if you don't like that, you're going to have to kill Sven. And, well, it doesn't really matter. She's still going to be your wife. And to be honest with you, it doesn't affect the game at all. But why would you marry Camilla over, let's say, Yzold or any of the other women? She actually has access to better stuff that you can trade and sell to her when you get back from your adventures. And if you didn't have children, and unfortunately, I adopted Lucia and own a house in Skyrim, you would be able to sleep with Camilla in the loft above the Redwood Trader. And a Riverwood Trader. And that is a bit of an advantage because now you have access to a lot of merchandise. And Lucan does not give you a discount. So here I am ready for the wedding and no one's here. What the heck? Again, I screwed up on timing and I kind of realized I did that. I clicked here, clicked attend your wedding. And let's see. I think, I think, I think. I'll have to talk to, oh, I keep forgetting there's no exit there. I'll talk to Marmol and find out what's going on. Yeah, he's just getting up or going to bed or whatever he's doing. Yep, no wedding yet, so I guess I'm going to have to wait. May return to her benevolence and safety. All the people you help are going to be at the wedding. Is that Isolde in the background? Oh, God. I bet you she's pissed. I'm not going to talk to Sven. Proud groom now. Let's begin the ceremony. It was Mara that first gave birth to all of creation and pledged to watch over us as her children. It is from her love of us that we first learned to love one another. It is from this love that we learned that a life lived alone is no life at all. We gather here today under Mara's loving gaze to bear witness to the union of two souls in eternal companionship. May they journey forth together in this life and in the next in prosperity and poverty and in joy and hardship. Do you agree to be bound together in love now and forever? I do. Now and forever. Do you agree to be bound together in love, now and forever. Under the authority of Mara, the divine of love, I declare this couple to be wed. I present the two of you with these matching rings, blessed by Mara's divine grace. May they protect each of you in your new life together. We're married. I guess we'll need to decide where we're living, won't we? You can always stay with me. Oh, but you have children, don't you? We'll have to find somewhere with room for them. Our new home. I'll see you there. Of, of course, because I've adopted a child, Camilla will not let me live with her and her brother above the Riverwood Trader. But that's not really a big deal. I mean, look at her. Um, would you mind cooking me something? Nah, I didn't ask her that. But just look at her. She's gorgeous. Anyway, now that I'm married to Camilla, 
I gotta keep an eye out and find out if Sven is poking his nose around the um, house. And you'll actually see him leave sometimes when you return from your missions. If you're gone a long time, what will happen is Camilla will, well, kick it up with her old suitors or suitor, whoever you've eliminated from her chain of affection. And, well, again, why would you marry her? It's in the goods. And plus, she really is good looking. And you can stick Sven in the back later. I might do a video about that. If I get to that, it'll be fun. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, I post four of them a week. And you don't want to miss out. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. And you will be notified of when I post. I am Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, thanking all of you for subscribing and thanking you for the views, and thanks for stopping by.